members one and all of the salivation nation i'm going to be referencing an older video that was uh brought to my attention in a live stream and uh, actually as of recent events because of the quality of the u.s mint it has uh, come to uh, my attention again uh, most recently by losing louis who really showed uh, the example on his video on this gold coin that you see before you here and I've taken it out of the case to um, illustrate this idea of thinning. That's F-I-N-N-I-N-G. And uh, it is one of the multiple areas where the United States Mint is sorely lacking in quality control for their products. And it is a shame and is inexcusable um, considering the stature that the United States Mint would like you to believe they have, they are far behind other mints around the world. Um, even with a high relief coin such as this, it is more likely that this is going to happen. But uh, for a coin that we've spent over $2,700 on, it's inexcusable that this kind of issue is there. And the best way to illustrate it is look at how thin the rim is there compared to how thick it is right there. What happens is when a coin is struck, it is uh, not a coin until it strikes the planchet, and then it impresses the design upon the, the feature on the side of the coin there, on both sides. And there's a lot of pressure involved, and when you have a coin with a relief, such as you see here, uh, it creates a... A lot of pressure and the metal must flow. It's got to go somewhere. And so what happens is, is the metal flows to the outside of the collar of the rim. And when a coin is off-centered, such as you see here, you can see how thick it is on the lower right where the rim is and how thin it is on the upper left, uh, right there by the eagle's head. On this side, it is unevenly struck, whereas on the other side, the obverse, it is evenly struck. But the metal flows into the collar, and that is called finning. It creates a very sharp edge, and that is why the coin appears to be thicker and why the capsule doesn't come down hard uh, on, evenly on both sides of the coin. And um, this is a common error for gold buffaloes as well, because believe it or not, gold buffaloes are indeed uh, high relief coins um, in comparison to eagles, let's say. But even eagles have had this problem to an extent, uh, certainly off-centered strikes, uh, which is one of two problems I'm uh, exposing here on this coin. Um, and I'm holding it by the edge and being very careful my hands are clean, uh, so the coin is in pristine condition as far as the surface, uh, well struck at least to that point, but the edge is an issue. Sadly, this is such a common problem with the United States Mint that the grading companies ignore this completely. They complete, This coin will probably get a 70 if I were to send it into NGC. Um, um, especially in, in, in PCGS likely as well. But NGC is especially bad for their liberal grading policies for modern coins. That alone is a scam in and of itself, especially with how these grading companies work with these big bullion dealers to get these massive grades. That's a subject for another video. But again, this off-centered strike to me is a massive imperfection, completely avoidable in my opinion. There's no reason why in 2021 that a United States Mint coin should be off-center, struck off-center. Uh, not only for proof collector coins like this, but also for uncirculated coins. No excuses. I don't care how many are produced or how many are stamped out. There are ways to prevent that from happening. The Royal Canadian Mint has no problem creating on-center strikes for multiple 
thousands and even millions of coins stamped out from their facilities each year. The U.S. Mint should as well. This is an, uh, 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 is a travesty, and the United States Mint needs to do something about it. Um, this is one of several complaints that I have for the United States Mint this year. Um, but again, uh, this coin, very, very expensive, high premium gold coin. Um, I know some say I should send it back, but the problem is if I send it back for replacement, there is no replacement, um, save for maybe the few that are there that, uh, were canceled because of credit card issues or what have you. Um, and more than likely I'll get the same problem. Again, look at that rim here. And as I turn it, you see how it becomes thicker. That's the overflow of metal, uh, seeping into the collar causing a very very sharp ridge you can see it there i'm going to see if i can zoom in on it because you can especially see it on the obverse here see how sharp it is there that is the collar coming through and you could literally shave with that it's so sharp and uh, it's gold that's coming in there um, you could take a file and and um, file it down for sure but that would certainly make the coin even more ugly uh, it's bad news indeed. It's on both sides and it happens because it's struck off center. And uh, that was an issue, by the way, with the 2009 ultra, ultra High Relief coin. There are some examples of that, but under Edmund C. Moy's direction, they minimized that for that coin. And that's an Ultra High Relief coin. Uh, but this is an example that it has come through with these High Relief coins. And it is an egregious problem it is horrible inexcusable and uh the united states mint needs to fix this problem it is horrible and uh and again most of the people that i saw that bought these coins have this issue um you can see the videos on youtube just search them out there's only one person i know of that got a decent coin from this um and so i will be keeping this coin um only because it's of its numismatic value, low mintage, and the like. Um, but you'd be taking a huge risk sending it back, having to pay for shipping to send such an expensive coin back, only to find its replacement could be even worse than this one. Uh, so um, I'm going to put a link to a video that I did quite a long time ago about finning, and it is a huge pet peeve of mine, uh, for sure. Uh, like losing Louie, um, a coin like this, it almost seems um, like it's not worth keeping. It, it really spoils it for me. It's a piece of dust. That's another thing, too. The United States Mint's uh, quality control uh, on their proof coins, their collector coins, a lot of times there is dust underneath the capsule of these coins, uh, which is another problem. The United States Mint has a lot of work to do to improve their quality control. I don't like, I'm saying it from a point of constructive criticism. I would love for somebody at the Mint to watch this video um, so that they can learn from these mistakes. Although it's a shame, it shouldn't have to be this way. Uh, when this thing comes out of the press, out of the die, it should be automatically seen. They should do these test strikes to make sure they get it right. Look how thick that is there. Look how thin it is there. And uh, it's just like losing Louis coin. I mean, Louis Silver. I'm sorry. It's Louis Silver. He changed his name. I apologize. I've known him as losing Louis for long enough. But nonetheless, there it is. Um, uh, the Liberty 2021 high relief coin has got some serious problems with it. And uh, this is not the only one. Other coins as well have issues too from the United States Mint. They need to fix this problem, and as among other issues there. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If you got one of these coins, be very careful, but I encourage you to take it out of the capsule. If you are too nervous about taking it out of the capsule, then I would suggest you look at the capsule and see if it's evenly uh, fitting around the coin. If it's not, and you press it a little bit, and you feel some resistance to one side, more than likely, it's because of that overflow of metal called finning uh, that you can see here clearly um, that is causing it. Um, be forewarned 
and I would encourage you to contact the Mint. I think I'm going to contact the Mint about this because I think it's egregious. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.